Um, so Todd, this is a, sort of a different type of film than we've seen from you before. Um, it's sort of a classic legal thriller drama. Um, but I was reading that you've actually been a fan of this genre for quite a while. I have. I have been. I've, I've, there's been certain examples of maybe more broadly the whistleblower genre because whether it's a lawyer uncovering stories like this or a journalist uncovering stories like this, they have a similar movement from a sort of a discovery process and an investigation process that leads to some decision of some sort of action that needs to be taken. Or you see that the stories that they break have a direct result on the systems uh, that surround us and a pushback on the part of power. And it puts these people in, in the crosshairs. And so uh, I've in, in certain films like The Insider by Michael Mann, a gorgeous piece of filmmaking, or All the President's Men, of course, by uh, Alan Pakula, uh, I find myself really compelled by watching that process unfold. Uh, Tim, you know, I know Mark got a lot of chances to talk with Rob, who he's portraying. I'm curious if you got to, a chance to meet with Tom, who you portray in the film. I did, via Skype, because he's retired and he's in Florida. No, no, good for him. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was very impressed by him. Um, what a, you know, um, unexpected uh, thing for him to do. Um, I, I, I'm... I'm curious about people like that. I, 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 that's why I wanted to play the role. Um, I, I want to suggest, perhaps, that, that this is possible in more of us, and that more people in positions of power, like Tom Turp, can use their positions of power for the public good rather than simply for profit. And uh, so I was inspired to, to hear that uh, what he did. And I think it's fascinating and for refreshing to see. You know, corporate lawyers in movies are usually the kind of the slimy bad guys, but here they're shown to have morals and ethics. And go figure. <laughs> it's possible, right? I think it. Yeah, I think it's. I, I, that's what we want to hope, and that's you know, and we want to be able to tell the stories of these people, to inspire more people like that to step up and live uh, responsibly. And how do you ride that line between, you know, you don't want to imitate him, you know, you want to portray him accurately but you also want to make the character your own. I pretty much wanted to play him accurately. I don't want to make it my own. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. So, like, you kind of study his, mm -hmm. how he talks. Oh, wow, mm -hmm. that's great. Um, you know, I read that you shot a lot of on location where these events actually occurred. Yeah. Um, you know, aside from just the authenticity aspect, um, what do you think the effect is on the, the production and then sort of the final product? It's sort of, you can't overstate the impact of actually being in these places. And also just the strange and unique configuration of space within the TAF law offices, the sort of interplay between shadowy corners and then these sudden windows that would be revealed. And that I felt from the very first research trip I took, I was taking a ton of pictures and it had an innate drama in the visual language, but this was Rob's real world. I mean, I would have picked this place aesthetically had it not even been the actual Taft offices. And we worked it out where we could we could use them. And we found a gutted space on the 10 floors above the actual law offices that we could build the conference room that Tim Robbins plays in and, uh, and Rob's office. But it looked out on the exact same skyline of Cincinnati. And so you felt that, that world right That's there in amazing. front of you. At DuPont, better living through chemistry. It's our DNA. You need to tell me what in the hell's going on. DuPont is knowingly poisoning 70,000 local residents for the last 40 years. You knew, still you did nothing. You want to flush your career down the toilet for some cow hand? You want to take everything that you know and turn it against an iconic American company like an informant. Isn't that right? Isn't that right? Isn't that right? Yes. They have all the money, all the firepower, and they'll use it. I know. I was one of them. Our government is captive to DuPont. They're trying to force you to make me stop. He was willing to risk his job, his family, for a stranger who needed his help. The system is rigged. They want us to think it'll protect us. protect us. We do.